Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com. We are talking about waking up your power, and the topic for this video is you come first. When coaching was first introduced, you know, some, uh, some years ago, actually, coaching is a very recent profession, you know, it exploded in the last five to ten years, so before that, there were maybe a couple of coaches, but, you know, not much, I mean, in the life coaching field. There were coaches in, in sports, but uh, not so much in uh, life coaches. So, one of the key ideas with coaching, it is that we give you back the control seat. We, we say that you are the person who matters the most. When you come to a coaching session, it's not about other people. It's about you. It's about you gaining extra power, extra effectiveness, extra confidence maybe in your life, but it's about you. And this is one element or one key concept or idea to remember at all times. You come first. Now you might think, isn't that a bit selfish, <laughs> you know? Am I allowed to think about myself first? I mean, I have children, I have a boss, I have a husband or partner or wife, you know, who is uh, demanding and to who I'm committed. So how come I can say that I come first? Well, let's shift perspective. Let's see what happens if you don't come first. Imagine that you are systematically feeding other things in your life, you know, other people, uh, you know, engaging into other things. Of course, this can work for you, but what you can see in society very often is that people get quite exhausted. I mean, there is a, a, a very high level of, of tiredness, depression, and unhappiness which is going on around, and most of the times, this has to do with the fact that many people don't feed themselves enough, don't feed their life enough. They don't take time to nurture what, what really is important for them. And if you start shifting priorities, you realize that everything benefits from it. If you are unhappy, if you are drained, if you are exhausted, tired, or angry, your mood is going to influence absolutely everything and everybody. All right? Especially if you have children, That was, uh, that was the phone. <laughs> I was saying, especially if you have children, I mean, uh, you know, your kids need you to be healthy. They need you to be in a good state of mind. They need you to be in a position where they know that they can rely on you and that you are, you know, taking care of yourself. If you are collapsing, you know, on an emotional level, if your life is really unhappy, that's what you are going to project out. So you, nobody's benefiting from it. So when we say you come first, we are saying that you have to take care of yourself first before you start giving. And if you start giving from a position of power, a position of high energy, or a position of high health, then it's okay, you can keep on giving. But if you come to a point where you start feeling exhausted, you start feeling burnt out, drained, tired, then it's really the sign that it's time to start shifting priorities and give yourself back the priority. Now, the term or the idea of being selfish might be something that you might resist. You might think, well, it's not really ethically correct to think of myself first. Well, this is the key idea to shift. You can. I mean, you don't have to 100% approve with what I'm saying if you don't want to. But if you recognize something in there that you can use, then go ahead and, and do it. Do it. Go ahead and take that idea inside yourself. And for one week, try it out. One week, you give yourself the priority and see what happens, really. I'm sure that when people see you in a happier state, you know, in a higher level of energy, they benefit as well. They are happy for you. They want you to be happy. <laughs> so when, when you start expressing that and you start giving yourself back the priority, then uh, everything starts shifting around. One way to, to do it is to think for yourself, okay, half a day, a week, I take it for myself, whether it's having a day out with my friends or training or going in nature or doing something which is going to be nurturing, have um, an afternoon in a spa or something like that, you know. You simply give yourself the priority half a day a week. And of course you give yourself the priority all the time, but focus on, on having a chunk of time which is dedicated just for you, where you can nurture yourself, nurture your feelings, nurture your energy, give yourself a good boost and a good treat, okay? This is one way to start. Uh, remember for now, you come first. That's the advice for this video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.